there's a fat stack of 100 million, just winning the game of wits. The whole amount is yours. The game begins. Each player is dealt 5 cards. On one side, there's 1 emperor and 4 citizens. On the other side, there's 1 slave and 4 citizens. Citizen against citizen results in a draw. Citizen defeats slave. Emperor defeats citizen. And slave defeats emperor. Therefore, the key to this game lies in the emperor and slave cards. The emperor card holds a significant advantage. But the slave card offers an astonishing 10 to 1 payout. To earn the 100 million, Peter has no choice but to take a gamble and choose the slave card. In the first round, both played citizens, and in the second round, they did the same. In the third round, Peter played the slave card, but his opponent saw through him and played a citizen. Peter lost. Man continued to mock him, claiming to possess mind-reading abilities and laughing arrogantly, before being taken away to become a laborer. Peter noticed something peculiar about the man's watch. As he walked, he reminisced, realizing the man's watch was actually a cheating device.